Hi, my name is Josh Bashinsky, and welcome to another SEO rant with me. Um, today we're going to talk about a uh, big, big uh, week in SEO. Uh, of course, we're plagued by hummingbirds and penguins and and oh, and mat cuts. Oh my! Uh, many different kinds of um, stuffs are going on, so I'll just get right to it. There's been tons of stuff. Uh, Penguin uh, 2.1 has been released. Uh, in case you didn't know, you've been living in a hole um, uh, on October 4th or so. And of course, Hummingbird was released a little bit before that, or at least announced and released months before that. So information has been coming out in these two key, very important algorithms. But also I'll be talking about social today and how the new ways of rankings and all kind of crazy stuff. So let's get right to it. So, so as I said, uh, October 4th, uh, Penguin 2.1 has been released. Um, uh, last video, uh, or the video before that, I did warn that John Mueller did leak that it's probably coming out soon, so you should make any changes, delete those bad links, or put them in the disavow file as soon as possible. So, now that 2.1 has come out, the question is, what what's happened? What can we draw from this? Well, uh, although it's still early, so we can't draw everything we want to, uh, we can draw a lot. Um, so first off, it does look like they're going to be running seasonal penguins. Penguin migrates <laughs> uh, every season. Uh, it looks like it's going to be spring and fall. So historically, 2012 and 2013, they've run it in the spring, April, May, and they've run it in the fall, October. So it looks like they're going to keep following that pattern. And based on everything else that they're talking about, it looks like they're going to keep running that pattern because they want to be punitive. They want to penalize webmasters. It's algorithmic, it's not, it's not a manual penalty, but they want to demote uh, webmasters who have been breaking their rules uh, for, for many, many months uh, in order to teach you a lesson. And this is their best finger wagging. So um, that's, um, that's kind of the angle that they're going for. So I, I don't agree with it, of course. It's, I think it's terrible. Um, who, who are they to um, punish us? Obviously, they should just ignore the links if they don't want to count them anymore if they think they're suspect. But anyway, it's, that's a rant for another time. Um, so it looks like Penguin is going to be seasonal. Um, it still looks like it has to do with over-optimization of, uh, of links for the most part, anchor text or, or links in general for the most part. Um, every iteration of Penguin seemed to deal with this. But also, there is an on-page component. John Mueller did directly say on October 7th that that Penguin 2.1 does look at keyword density. Uh, it does have on, an on-page component as well. And Penguin 2.0, I've already shown, has a very strong on-page component, uh, especially in the domain name uh, for Penguin 2.0. If you want my videos on Penguin 2.0, if you're hit on May 23rd, 2013, then you want to go back, look at my previous videos on my YouTube channel. While I'm thinking about it, my contact information, if you want to ask me about Penguin or about any other SEO question, uh, my email address is joshbashinsky at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter if you tweet, if you're a Twitter kind of person. Uh, uh, Josh Bashinsky is my Twitter handle, is that what it's called? Twitter, whatever, that's my tweeter thing. And, um, and YouTube, you can watch this video and many other exciting SEO videos where I rant <laughs> a lot about SEO and various things, you know, that just cross my little brain. Um, at uh, youtube.com slash jbashins, J-B-A-C-H-Y-N-S. So I just want to get that out there because I always forget and wait till the end. So Penguin does still seem to have an over-optimization uh, factor to it, both links and on-page, mostly links, though, arguably the, the lion's share, definitely there's links for sure. Uh, now that we now know this uh, after, obviously, all the information. Uh, and as I said, 2.0, uh, Penguin 2.0 was released May 23rd, definitely seems to have a lot more to do with uh, exact match query to EMD. So again, I've done this tons of times, but just very quickly I'll go over it. So if I was red, running redapples.com, Penguin seemed to hit me if I had, you know, 40% of my links, the highest majority of my links were red apples, either redapples.com or red spade, app, red spade apples or, or, you know, whatever, or www.redapples.com. It didn't matter if it was buried in a URL. That's what a lot of people thought, obviously, if, if I do a brand like this. No, you know you're not. In fact, John Mueller specifically said, um, that even if you have, um, he recently said October 7th, even if you have a, uh, a branded link, so redapples.com links to red apples, he says, that's fine as long as, here's the caveat, is it as long as a giant but, <laughs> um, no pun intended for Mr. Mueller, a giant but 
um, as long as it's not, but as long as it's not uh, with commercial intent. The more commercial intent your exact match query branded link has, you know, if, you, if you're, you're trying to rank cheapcars.com and all your links are cheap cars, cheap cars, cheap cars, that still counts as over optimization. That's exactly what Penguin 2.0 was looking for. So that seems to be what Penguin 2.0 was looking for. Penguin 2.1. So what's Penguin 2.1 looking for? Penguin 2.1, interestingly, in, interestingly enough, does not look at the exact same things. No one knows for sure what it's looking at yet. Um, uh, at the time of this uh, uh, this video, which is uh, Thursday, October 10th, no one that I saw, and I haven't been able to do enough research yet to find out exactly what they're looking for. But it definitely looks uh, Becker, Alex Becker, I think his first name is. And uh, he put out a video, and he's pretty much the only one that I know of who put out a video on Penguin so far, other than myself, right now, you're watching it. Um, it's really too early to tell, but it looks like all these people are talking about, it, from what I've seen, it looks like they're not targeting this, it, they're definitely not targeting the same EMQ to EMD, EMD ratio they were for 2.0. 2.1 seems to be targeting the manual post sites, all the kinds of sites that we've been using. The wikis, the blogs, the web 2.0, the social bookmarks, the press releases, all these manual posts, make your own username and log in and post something, forum profile, whatever it is, all those kinds of things definitely seems to be the, the, the kind of links they're going for because you look at the backlink, uh, um, uh, backlink pages for all the sites that were hit by Penguin uh, uh, 2.1 and they all scream that. They're all clearly web 2.0, social bookmarking, article, blog, directories, those kinds of things. So, and with, with, with no obvious signal in the anchor percentages, no obvious single signal in the spun percentages, no obvious signal there in any way, shape, or form. So, and it's interesting to remember, and this, I'm gonna be mentioning Hummingbird later on, so I'm gonna talk about Penguin, I'll talk about social being the new linking, and I'll talk about Hummingbird after. And to, but just to mention Hummingbird for a second, remember, it is very interesting to note that Hummingbird does know what every page is about now, right? They're going for uh, things, not strings, and so they're trying to understand what this page is and what it's about and what it does. They have a category for everything. But anyway, I'll get to that. But so it's very interesting to think that they waited to release Penguin 2.1 after Hummingbird, which is a complete rewrite of their algorithm. It's a, the biggest rewrite. Like Penguin is an add-on. Panda is an add-on. Hummingbird is a rewrite, a complete rewrite. It's like the difference between Windows 7 and Windows 8. It actually, maybe even more striking, more striking a difference than that, even though that was a pretty big difference between those two. Um, so it's a complete difference. Anyway, so getting back to Penguin, I'll talk about Hummingbird in a second and how this all relates. So that's what it looks like. It's it, uh, the very initial um, phase. That's what it looks like it's looking for. No one knows really for sure, but that seems to be what it's looking for as far as we can tell. Now, what about some other things that could be an issue? Well, people say, well, it could be link velocity is an issue. I don't think that link velocity is an issue. John Mueller directly said September 13th that link velocity is not an issue, that they look for, really, at least not alone, not on itself, not, not a big factor anyway. Quite frankly, because they see it all the time. You know, someone runs a commercial and then they get a bunch of links, or someone, you know, goes viral on social and they get a bunch of links. And that's exactly what they want you to do. So it's not really something they're going to be looking for. Another thing that he said that they could be counting it was very interesting, and I speculated two years ago with Panda came out before anyone knew what that was about. That, you know, I thought, what are all the things they could look for? This is one of the things that I thought I wrote down on my big whiteboard. Was that all of our black hat backlinks, of course, they don't get any traffic. And we don't want them to get any traffic. We don't want them to rank because we don't want people to see them and complain about them, right? All of our crappy little blog posts and things like that. For the most part, our black hat linking is just kind of the dark web, the dark Google, right? where it's, it's there, but you can't see it, no one knows about it, and Google's counting it. And, and so the gravity, if you will, the, the link juice effects, but, but you, know, you don't know it's there, you don't see it. Of course, that means that none of this stuff is ranking, none of this stuff is getting, none of this backlink, crappy backlink, spamming stuff is getting any traffic. So that would be, you know, a very easy way to tell whether or not they should be counting the links from a page, is whether or not does that page, does this page rank? Does anyone go here? Does anyone read it? You know, does, should this, this vote count if no one ever goes to the page and nobody ever reads it, nobody ever clicks on the link. So, just my point is, September 27th, Joel Mueller directly said that stale links are no good, that the backlinks need traffic to be countered. And I, 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 I repeat, on September 27th, he directly said that stale links are no good, that backlinks, the page, needs traffic for the, for the links on that page to be counted. So this is very interesting as well. Um, uh, in many ways, both, hmm, they're doing that, and then, hmm, how can I manipulate that? But, so 
So, John Mueller, when asked about Penguin 2.1, on October the 7th, he did a hangout. It was released on the 4th. And he said some very interesting things. He said that Penguin 2.1 was more, quote-unquote, critical. And that it's going after new, they're going to be going after new linking each time. Each time they're going to hit a different kind of black hat linking that people have been doing. So Penguin 2.0, they were looking at EMQ to EMD ratio. And not really much else. Uh, and the payday loans algorithms were, uh, I've already shown in my videos, numerous examples, how really it was just a variation on that theme. It's like they're just tweaking that mathematical algorithm of what the spamminess is for the limousine niche and the payday loans niche and the this niche and the that niche. And that was the payday loans algorithm that they brought out a couple times in, in June. Now Penguin 2.1 is working on a completely different paradigm. And of course, back in May, John, uh, Matt Cutts already announced their war against SEO, already announced their war against links, and already announced that they have like 10, literally 10 different algorithms to find uh, black hat linking in various different ways. And this could be one of them, right? Because we didn't see that many algorithms released. At least they didn't announce them anyway, right? So, and that, not only that, but John Mueller specifically said that they're, they're going to be more critical each time, quote unquote, the word critical is used numerous times, that and this is based on what people tell them, that they have these um, helpers, a.k.a. rats, ratting out people's backlinks, uh, these whitehead SEOs who are getting jealous, the black hats have been beating them for years. Uh, or maybe, this is just my color commentary, you know, take it with a grain of salt, that this could be what's going on, or, you know, angels came from heaven and told Google. Um, clearly, uh, people are ratting out other black hat tactics on the forums, you see this on the Google Hangouts, you see this all the time. They're calling their whining, yeah, but these links are still there, John Mueller. Can I send you this site? And John Mueller's like, Yes, fine, send me the site on Google Plus. And so I cannot stress enough that, you know, uh, plus they have all the false positives with, with Penguin 2.0. Penguin 2.0, I showed there was tons of false positives. CyrusShepherd.com, ETS.org, SalvationArmy.org. Um, there's tons of false positives that were, were hit with Penguin 2.0, which were probably clearly not doing um, black hat linking, but Google doesn't give a crap. They don't care about false positives. Um, they're like the honey badger. They don't give a she stuff. She it. Um, yeah, so th that would be another reason why they would change it up, and they're going to be critical. They're going to hit different stuff each time. So, the, so I can't stress enough to say that don't, and when it comes to black hat SEO, don't do what everyone else is doing and don't do what people can see and complain about because that is what they hit every time. It's like the engineers are so conceited at Google that they think they know everything. So then they just listen to the white hats, what they tell them, they go, oh, that's what they're doing? You know, I don't know. I, I, it's so easy in my head to think of ways to hit everything that I'm doing and everything that everyone else is doing, you know? But I'm like in the thick of it. Obviously, I live and breathe this stuff. I'm doing it every day. The engineers at yeah, Google, you know, I don't think they are. Matt Cutts, if Matt Cutts, the, the leader of the team, who shares an office with Amit Singhal, the, the CEO if, of Google Search, if you will, if he has to bother reading Black Hat forums, and he does, he's admitted this publicly, that's what he, he, said, this, he said, this is what my job is, I read Black Hat forums and find out what we're going to go for next. If he's the guy they got telling them what to do, and they're listening to all the white hats they you know, have like a relationship with for years of them telling what we're doing, what they're doing, and then Google warns them and they change it, and then they tell them what's going on. You know, they've had this kind of collaborator, and I use the word in its full meaning and shape and form and connotation. They have this collab collaborator, uh, imposer, tyrant kind of relationship going on, kind of like World War II, you know. Um... And that's been going on for years. And if this is where they're getting the information from, then clearly they don't know what's going on in Black Hat. Because you ask any Black Hat, oh yeah, we can find it this way, we can find it that way. It'd be so easy to do. You know, Google could hire me and Black Hat SEO could be gone in a year. Um, more or less. Uh, and I'm really not that smart or that big into it. Um, uh, but it's just not that hard when you really know what people are doing. Uh, but so the very fact that it's taking Google this long to figure it out, you know, should tell you something. But... Anyway, my point is that don't do what everyone else is doing. Don't do what people can see or, or complain about because that's what they're hitting every time. So if that's what we know about Penguin 2.1 so far, which is, you know, not as much as we'd like to know, but it's something. Oh, and by the way, if you want more information about 
how to do black hat SEO that people can't see and complain about. If you want to know about all the new things in black hat SEO that are going on, and gray hat SEO, and also white hat SEO too, which I also do. You know, there's no point in not doing white hat SEO, you know, in terms of best practices, you know, making the great page and whatnot and all that lovely stuff. If you want to know about all the new stuff in black hat SEO, however, that you can do that people can't find, so they can't route you out to Google, all the new ways that we're doing it, the new algorithms are manipulating, you know, like I've said many times in my videos that I've, you know, you still need links to rank, and I still have ways to get links for you, but I'm so off that, I'm so on to the new uh, uh, algorithms you can manipulate just because, you know, I'm a gamer and I like to do this kind of stuff, it's fun, uh, and uh, I like to be ahead of the curve as opposed to on it or behind it. Um, which there's still a lot of people behind the curve, you know, are, are working in definitely a failing, failing uh, uh, market or failing ways of doing it. Uh, in, in, my, in my humble opinion, and again, as I said, I'm an early adopter when it comes to this stuff, so take my opinion with a grain of salt. And again, as I said, you still need links. Uh, but if you want to know about the new black hat ways of doing stuff that Google can't find and no one is talking about yet, or you know, are only in very select circles, and it is all going offline. That is all getting off of forums because they know people have the real black hats know that Google reads this stuff, and they're not talking about this on Black Hat World or, or Warrior forums, right? The only stuff that's being talked about there is like little kitty stuff, uh, that, or that stuff they want to sell it to you, right? Uh, the 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 um, ubiquitous WSO. Um, uh, if you want to know about this stuff, contact me. Uh, we'll talk about it. I've got some new uh, consulting, some new services. Uh, I've got some new test programs as well. You can get in on it for really cheap or it'll free if it's easy enough. And uh, we can definitely talk about it. You can see some of the stuff that we're doing. It's pretty interesting and it, nobody's talking about it yet. And uh, it's completely different. It's not your grandma's SEO. It's not SEO from even last year. It's, it's totally different. Anyway, I started to remember to put it out there. Again, my contact info is joshpashinsky at gmail.com. Uh, yeah, so just email me. Okay. So if that's Penguin, what we know about Penguin 2.1, the question is, okay, well, how do I fix it? I was hit by Penguin 2.1. What do I do to fix it? How do I fix this thing? The question, the big question is, does the disavow file work? Of course, I've already reported that there was a major leak from a big up, uh, big up uh, in Google, high, higher up than, than Matt Cutts even. Leaked out to a white hat friend of mine who told me at a conference in Poland that, you know, uh, Google told him in confidence uh, long-standing relationship, so again, this collaborative relationship where all the information gets leaked um, that I've partly broken into or trying to break into, but I'm still a little too black out with my previous videos for, for these people or those people, right? Um, uh, that the disavow file does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. It was just made as a mechanism to uh, collect the links that people should be deleting for the manual team. And then I called John Mueller and Matt Cutts out on this, and Matt Cutts said to me, back personally on Twitter, um, no, the disavow file works for Penguin, so you should be using it. And John Mueller said repeatedly, yes, the disavow file will work. If you can delete the links, better. But if you can't, just use the disavow file, because it works, blah, 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 blah. So people have been doing that, because not only Matt Cutts and John Mueller, but everyone at Google and everyone, all the top contributors and everyone on the forums have been saying, use the disavow file. Delete if, you, delete if you can, but they know that it's virtually impossible in most cases, so do use the disavow file. So the question is, okay, well, did it work? Did some people go up using the disavow file when Penguin 2.1 was launched? Now, the rumors are hard. Now, this is where it gets money. The rumors are very hard to determine. Um, uh, a couple of my clients went up. A couple of my clients went down. Uh, some people in the industry say they say they went up. Some people say they went down. Uh, some used to disavow file. Some didn't. So it's really hard to tell. It has to do with the back the backlink percentage of these manual post links you have, really. So if there's re no real clear evidence at this time. It's only October 10th, so it's only been out for six days. There's no real clear evidence at this time whether disavow file does or doesn't work. And there's no way to know if the disavow, disavow file is going to work in the future. If it works now, they will continue to honor it. And there's no way of knowing how many links you have to put in the disavow file. You might have to put like 90% of your links in the disavow file, which at that point you might as well, you know, given that you're still rolling the dice, you might as well register another domain name at that point, in my opinion. I can rank new domain names all day long. Uh, getting a site back, we can get sites back, but it's not as sure as, yeah, sure, within six months I can have you ranking a new site, no problem. So, I mean, you know, you really have to ask that question at some point. Um, the best way, of course, still, 
based on all the information we have to date, is to delete the backlinks if possible, but you will still have the flag on your own pages. Penguin, John Mueller has confirmed numerous times now that Penguin 2.x, uh, at least 2.0, is a uh, flag-based algorithm. So they find bad links, flag your page, right? Uh, that means you can delete all the links you want and disavow. The flag will still be on your page until they rerun the algo. The only way that other you know, really good SEOs like Eric Lantries and uh, other people and myself say that you can get rid of Penguin immediately, possibly, is by deleting the pages targeted at. So let's say you were smart. You didn't build all your spammy backlinks to the index page. Let's say you built to other pages, right? That means if you can, if you can afford to do so, you can delete those subpages, you delete the pages with the flags on them, in theory, you delete the penalty. And then you can just keep building and keep doing your SEO and stuff like that. So that still seems the best way to fix Penguin 2.1 based on all the information we have to date, which admittedly is, is still all theoretical. It's still all theoretical at this point because no one has really come out and said, obviously no one's fixed Penguin 2.1 yet. And no one has really come out yet with an in-depth study showing how, how it fixed their Penguin 2.0 when they released the algorithm. Now the disavow file, that's anybody's guess. Um, uh, I'll have to report to you on that one. But uh, you know, those are the ways that we know um, best that it can be, uh, can be fixed. Okay, so the question is, well, if this is all the trouble that we're having with black hat linking, then how the heck does Google think we're supposed to get backlinks? What does Google think we're supposed to do? Like, never mind what they say in their how to rank document, which says you want to build websites that people will want to, and I quote, use and share, end quote. Again, their how to rank document, their official how to rank document on google.com says you want to build websites that people are going to want to, quote, use and share, end quote. And they change that from get linked to. It used to say that they'll want to link to, they deleted that, and now it says use and share. Um, but what, what do they really mean by use and share? What does that really mean? What are the actionable tips? Well, John Mueller was asked that. John Mueller's been asked that a number of times, and he's given the consistent answer in this new kind of post-summer 2013. Pre-summer 2013, he's like, oh yes, you must get links, make good sites that people want to link to. He doesn't say that anymore. He's not said that since summer 2013, after all this stuff has changed. He now says something quite different, and he said it again on October the 7th. Um, October the 7th, uh, no, um, September 26th, he was asked this particular question. Um, you know, how do you rank? How do you get links? How do you get recommendations the Google way? And he said, this is very interesting, he said, you want to add widgets to, that allow people to share or give the link code that they can just copy and paste onto their blog, which I thought was against their terms and conditions, but that's what he said. Um, but he said, you want to add, use the specific word widgets, quote unquote, a number of times. And he also mentioned specifically like Facebook widgets or Google Plus buttons to share the site. He did not say get plus ones or likes. He said you want to get people sharing the site. And on October 7th, he said something even more interesting. When asked how to rank, he said, and I quote, you want to make great content they will want to recommend to their friends and family on their own, end quote. I repeat, when asked how to rank, he didn't say get links. He didn't even say get social. Social. He didn't say anything about social. He said you want to make great content that they, presumably your web users, will want to recommend to their friends and family on their own. Friends and family, he said that. So, well, people are not writing blogs for their friends and family. I mean, some people do, but that's not generally how it's done. 99% of the time, people recommend sites on social to their friends and family. So, I mean, the writing is on the wall. Social is the new link. Um, Google has said again and again and again, ever since May of 2013, that links are not what they're using anymore. They don't see links as the primary recommendation form anymore, a third-party third party recommendation. They see social as the, the, the recommendation. They know very well that people are using social. They know very well they have to use social uh, in their algorithms because that's where people are recommending, and they still need to use um, uh, third-party recommendations as an indirect signal for ranking. 
So social is the way they're doing it, and that's all the verbiage, and that's all the way they're talking now. And so, and people have tested it, and I mean, clearly it works. I've got tons of tests, and I've got tons of stuff going on. So you want to figure out how to how to make social work, but you have to do it a specific way. It's not about buying a thousand plus ones. It's not about buying a thousand likes. It's about getting people to share you on their social account that Google can also read. And so there's some debate as to whether they can read Facebook. There's no debate as to whether they can read Google+. Um, I think they can read Facebook. Ren Fishkin of SEO Moz, formerly SEO Moz, now called Moz, claims they can read Facebook. He's one of these white hat collaborators, right, who knows. He also knows that uh, Google has an OAuth agreement with a third-party application that has an OAuth agreement with Facebook. So they can get all the private data that way. And if you do a, a search for the Facebook pages that are in the index, it's something like 5 billion pages. So they can read quite a bit of it. So anyway, we know they can read Google+. So other things that John Mueller said is just make sure the users are happy with the content. Um, so when asked how to rank, he always says usage and sharing. Usage and sharing. Um, and I've talked a lot about that, and I will talk a lot about that uh, in future videos about usage. And... Um, and also, he said, he, said it, he said it again, and this is very interesting when he said it months ago, but he said it again. He said, use shorter URLs because they're easier to share. And so that is very interesting. Why would he say use shorter URLs that are easier to share? It's not that necessarily that much easier to make a link to a shorter URL. You just copy and paste it. It is that much easier to remember it and go there. It is that much easier to remember it and type it into Twitter or, 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 or into social. It is that much easier to paste it into Twitter or social because you have limited space, right? Um, and it is that much easier to copy and paste it into emails, copy and paste it, uh, uh, share it that way through email, uh, you know, uh, things like that. So I don't know why, but he said that again and again, and I don't know, and he says it with confidence, not like, you know, like, like, as if like he knows there's some secret there, right? So I've mentioned this to other SEOs, uh, you know, and we're all like, oh, how does that work? You know, so anyway, I've talked about that before as well. But this is what he reported uh, recently because uh, I'm getting low on time. Okay, so that's, I think social is the new link. I think it's, it's very clear. We've got, to, uh, we've got to consider that. Okay, and finally, hummingbird. What is going on with this hummingbird? We've got penguins, we've got hummingbirds. We're attacked by the birds. It's like the... Alfred Hitchcock movie flying at us, pecking us in the face. Um, well, uh, John Mueller did release another uh, 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 leak, another, uh, uh, I think it's kind of a bombshell leak about Hummingbird. Um, you know, not a lot of information has been put out there, just a lot of speculation by Danny Sullivan. Uh, and a lot of people have read stuff into it without really get, knowing what's going on. Well, John Mueller has kind of released some information about it. He said Hummingbird is category based. That Basically, what he directly said was that that schema.org, impl implementing schema markup into your page makes it, quote-unquote, easier for Hummingbird to know what your site is about. He said you don't need to do this. He said, but it would be good to do this. And the reason why is because Google, he says, is pretty good at determining what your page is about. And this is true. If you've been doing your white hat on page SEO properly, you've properly labeled the page, and so the algorithm can very easily know what this page is about, and therefore what kind of page it is. Remember, they're trying to move to things, not strings. This is what Hummingbird does. That was the move from the algorithm knowing, uh, recognizing strings to knowing, to recognizing things, that this is a product page, offering a kind of product that is, does this and does why. This is a service page, it offers a kind of service where you can sign up. Or this is a service page which offers a service but you can't sign up here, it just talks about it, it's a review. Or it's a contact page, or it's a terms and condition page. Have you ever looked at schema.org? It has definitions for all these kinds of pages, and if you look in your webmaster tools and you're using schema.org, you might be surprised to find what Google thinks your page is about because it says the schema.org there. It kind of overrides slightly what the page says it's about, or kind of really solidifies it, right? If schema.org says it's a product page and, it, and your titles and your H1s makes it look like it's a product page, then Google thinks it's a product page, and they're going to rank it accordingly in the Query Deserves Diversity, now modified by Hummingbird as well, ranking that, that information and also understanding the queries people are typing better and speaking better to get at that information. So Hummingbird does use schema.org. This is confirmed from John Mueller. It makes it easier for Hummingbird to know what it is about, quote-unquote easier. 
That means that Hummingbird is category based. And so I think of it this way. Hummingbird is to global SEO that Google places and map listings are to local SEO. Hummingbird is nothing but Google things, right? Google places is essentially local SEO. Google things is now global SEO. And factored in with the knowledge panel, they want to know about things, right? It's getting to the point where they have a, you know, there's a category system in Google places that tells, uh, that, that will dictate what you rank for, right? When you put in your categories, this is a pet store offering, you know, this and this, or this is a lawyer offering family law and divorce law and this law. That's what you're going to rank for because that's what your category is. That's what you are about. Exact same thing for Hummingbird. They're just taking that idea that worked well for Google Places, that they have verification and, and different levels of verification and, and, and factors built in to combat Black Hat SEO, and they're just moving that over to Hummingbird, where they can tell what your page is about, and then in their application, it's not a search engine anymore, Google is an application, where they're going to offer products and services and things that they think you want in cards or a knowledge panel or in that kind of format. This is the way they're going. Hummingbird is a complete rewrite. It's the biggest rewrite they've had since for 12 years. It's not an add-on. It's a complete rewrite to the algorithm. So it's category-based. And, and, and Matt Cutts did already leak this in, in SMX Advanced in June of this year. Just no one really realized he was talking about Hummingbird because, of course, it wasn't even a sparkle in, in its daddy's eye yet. It wasn't even a sparkle in Matt Cutts' eye yet. But he did have another sparkle in his eye and a sparkle in his smile when he said that that... Their new algorithms are all category based and all of the information is category based. And, and Danny Sullivan was talking to Matt Cutts in his interviews Q&A at, uh, at uh, UNA actually, they call it, at SMX Advanced. Uh, Danny Sullivan was talking about the knowledge panel, but it's the same thing because the knowledge panel algorithm has been replaced by Hummingbird. Uh, that was leaked as well, right? So by John Mueller. So uh, yeah, so this is Hummingbird. This is the way it's going. And this is the way we need to go if we want to do our SEO. So make sure your schema is filled out. Make sure Google knows what your site's about. Make sure you have it filled out properly. Um, don't say your site is all HCARD for every page because that just means it's a contact page and that's going to be screwing Google up, right? Or it's all info-based when you offer products. Or it's all product-based when you also offer info. You have to have that schema set up properly or not set up at all and just your titles and your H1 set up properly so Google knows what it's about. So anyway, that's my SEO rant for today. Uh, very interesting Google leaks, so I hope you do well in the SERPs. And uh, it's a very interesting time we live in for SEO. Uh, I hope you're excited about it because there's opportunities there. It makes it harder uh, in, in some ways. You can't just do the old tricks again and again and again. But if you know how to do the new tricks, you have a huge opportunity here uh, because it's a new horse race and uh, it's everything's been shaken up. And so you can, you can rank if you knew the, know the new tricks or want to try to find out the new tricks. So anyway, good luck in the SERPs, and we'll see you next week.